Hi, I'm Leilani Evans, and today I'm going to be talking about Progress Billing and Sage 100 Contractor. I am the Construction Software Sales Associate at TAG. We serve construction companies all throughout, coast to coast, um, and have offices in and throughout Southern California. Again, today I'm going to be talking about five easy steps to the workflow and generating your progress billings. Number one, progress billing setup. I'll cover all of the information that you'll need to enter in order to uh, generate your uh, progress billing. Number two, I'll talk about importing and updating information uh, into the progress billing and all of your options there. Number three, I'm gonna talk about processing and calculating these progress bills. And number four, I will talk about updating costs from change orders and the two different methods that you have in Sage 100 Contractor. And lastly, I will talk about how to print uh, and what options you have available to you for that progress billing and submitting. Let's get started. So number one, you will enter in all of your information in 3.7 progress billing. You'll hit this button down here below where it says setup. And you'll be asked to enter in all of the information uh, in a new window that will pop up. Then you'll move on to the header information where you'll enter in all this, this um, information in, this, in these fields here. You will need to enter in everything that has an asterisk next to it. So uh, in order to save that record, that will need uh, to be entered. You also have some examples here for how SAGE takes the information for the billing cycle. So please take note of that. And then you have some options. Uh, when you go up into the, the menu bar, you hit options, and you have uh, some options to be able to check off here uh, things that you'd like to allow on this progress billing. Okay, moving on. Number two, import and update options. So once you've entered in all of your setup information, you have the capability to import um, your items from either your budget or your proposal. So you'll head up to the toolbar, hit options, and you will select import, and you'll see those two options uh, pop up here. So you can either click uh, import budget or the proposal there. Okay, now you'll complete the grid. So you will enter in either the current complete or the percent complete. You will um, be able to put in a retention rate, but you can also pull in the defaulted um, retention rate that you've entered in the setup screen. Uh, and then you can enter in the current stored and whether or not that item is taxable. Then you'll hit calculate by going back up to that options menu bar and uh, clicking on calculate, a new window will open up and you'll have two options as you see here. Choose one of those options and hit calculate. Now let's talk about updating costs from change orders. You have two methods here. Um, so you can uh, go up to the, that menu bar, you'll hit update and go down to the first option, change orders. Two options will come up, either add to existing lines or append as new lines. So that first method will incorporate changes to cost in the individual cost codes. And the first and the second method, excuse me, will um, include that total amount of the change order as a separate line item. So those are your two options there. Choose one and, and then you will be able to update. Now that we have created the progress billing either automatically or uh, typing it, this in manually, um, we've updated uh, to reflect all of the effects of the change orders um, and we've calculated what you'll want to do is then uh, print, submit, and then post. So in the print menu here, you will uh, choose to go ahead and print and you'll have all of these formats available to you um, out of the box with your software. It will come with all of these here that um, are just variations available to you. If you have the actual AIA forms, uh, you have the options that will print just the values onto that copyrighted form. Otherwise, you have forms, formats that look very similar to that actual form. You also have the option to modify any one of these formats 
by clicking modify report you can tweak it a little or you can totally revamp it it's up to you um, that is um, something that is easy to do and then you have all of your options for uh, creating uh, the files themselves. You can pull it into a PDF, a Word document. You can even send it into Excel. Uh, you can send it via email, or you can even fax it. So those are your options that you'll have up on, on these buttons here. Let's look at what the uh, progress billing format looks like. You have your um, cover page here, and then you have your schedule of values. And that is five easy steps to the workflow and creating progress billings in the Stage 100 contractor. If you are interested in a more in-depth demonstration of what Stage 100 con contractor can do and all of its job cost estimating and scheduling capabilities, please contact me. My email is leilani.evans at teamtag.net. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and chatting with you. Thanks.